Hey guys, Kari here from the Alfred Homestead, and today I just wanted to share with you guys my super fast four hour sourdough recipe. This is just my super quick bread recipe that I make for my family when I am short on time. So, the night before I want to make my sourdough, I go ahead and make my levain. So, I normally keep a dry sourdough, so I will take 15 grams of the dry sourdough. And I will add to that equal parts water and all-purpose unbleached flour. So I have about 125 grams of water and 125 grams of flour. And I'll go ahead and mix that up and I'll leave it overnight. Now, if you use a wet starter, just go ahead and feed your wet starter. Just make sure you have about 250 grams of starter to use for your recipe. So no worries if you have a wet starter or a dry starter. They both work totally fine in this recipe. So I've got that all mixed up and it's going to sit on my counter covered overnight for about 12 hours. And this is the next morning. You can see that it's nice and bubbly and active and that's exactly what we want when we want a super quick recipe. So the key to this is making sure everything stays warm. I'm going to add warm milk to my starter and I it's just lukewarm but that's enough that it's going to give it that extra oomph so that it can rise quicker. So I've got three quarters cup of warm milk and you can also add a tablespoon of oil or butter to this as well. It would it would help make the bread a little bit softer. And then to that, I'm going to add about two and a half cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. You can use whatever you'd like to use here. This is a very versatile recipe, <laughs> so use whatever flour you like to use. And I would also add about a teaspoon of salt here at this point. I am skipping the salt right now because I am going to be adding um, seasoning to the top of the bread that has salt in it, so I don't want it to be too salty. So I'm gonna mix this very well. You can use a spatula or fork, whatever you got will work. And I have my oven light on. So this is another tip to having a quick rising bread is that I'm gonna put it in the oven to rise. And the oven is warmed up from the light. It'll probably get up to 80, maybe even 85 degrees with the light on. So I keep the light on and that's how I get my bread to rise super, super fast. So it doesn't really matter that the ambient temperature right now in my house is like 72 degrees because I'm just gonna have it rising in the warm oven so it feels like it's summer. I've got that into a cohesive ball of dough and I'm going to cover it and put it in the warm oven to let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. So this just gives the dough a chance to rest before we start kneading it. So it's been about 20 minutes. I'm gonna take the dough out and I'm gonna knead it for a couple of minutes just to help develop that gluten structure. This is the only time that you will be kneading this bread. I, I'm telling you guys, this bread recipe is so simple, it's so fast and easy, it's really hands off. I mean, this isn't something you want to impress people with. <laughs> if you have guests, this isn't like your master recipe. This is just, okay, look, I need to feed my family, and I, you know, this is just the fastest way to get a nice homemade loaf of sourdough bread on the table. So I'm just going to knead this for a few minutes. It shouldn't be too sticky. It should just be a little bit tacky, but nothing should really be sticking to your hands. It should be relatively smooth when you're done kneading it. And you can also use a bread mixer if you have a bread mixer. Um, I don't. I just do everything by hand, and that works for me because I'm not going to sit here and knead it for 20 minutes. That's t entirely unnecessary. So once you've got a relatively smooth ball of dough, I'm going to pop it back in the bowl and cover it again and back into the warm oven it goes. 
and it will sit here for the next two hours. So this will be the first rise and I don't have to do anything. I don't touch it for another two hours. So two hours later, you can see it's risen substantially and it should be nice and soft. And when you poke it, it the indent sort of stays put. So now we're going to shape the dough for the final rise. You can shape it any way you want to. You don't have to make it super complicated. I'm just shaping it like into a rectangle. So I'm just gonna fold each side into the middle over each other. So I'll fold it once inward and twice over, and then I'll take the other sides and fold them inward. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. I literally just try and tuck the sides in and just make it taut, you know? That's basically what you want. You don't need to make it all perfect and do fancy folds. You just want it to be taut enough so that it holds its form. So I'm just gonna keep shaping this a little bit. I'm using some the friction from the counter. I did not flour the counter or anything because I want that nice taut dough and I can use my hands to sort of get that surface tension going. So I've got a buttered pan that I'm just gonna pop this into. I use this, I use the bread loaf pan because my family just likes having those sandwich slices. Use whatever you want to use. It's going to go in, in the warmed oven for another two hours. Okay, so that's risen nicely. And again, we're at the four hour mark now. So we're going to go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So while the oven is preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and put my seasoning on top. So I'm just wetting my fingers and just rubbing the top of that loaf really gently. I don't wanna deflate the dough or anything, but it's just gonna help my seasoning stick. So I'm using the everything but the bagel seasoning. That is my favorite seasoning for bread. And I just like it on top, to be honest. You could fold this into the raw dough if you like it inside the bread as well. I'm just gonna put some on top and I'm pretty generous with it. <laughs> and once my oven is preheated, I'm just going to pop that in the oven. I'm not even gonna worry about slitting it. Um, we're gonna pop that in there for about 35 minutes. Okay, and this is after 35 minutes. It's not too brown, which is how I like it. Um, I am going to cover this so that way the steam will be locked in. And what will happen is that my crust will be nice and soft. I really don't like a hard, super hard crust to bite into. So this is how you can do that. You can also just use a wet towel if, if that works for you. So um, after about an hour of cooling, I go ahead and cut into the loaf and there you have it. A super fast four hour sourdough recipe. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you next time.